Hi class, so what I want to do here is I want to walk you through uh, one of the challenge activities in module 8.1 and this has to deal with hypothesis testing for the difference between two population means. And so this, this challenge activity 8.1.1 has two parts and, and let me walk you through both of them. And uh, after watching this video you should be well equipped to handle the other challenge activities in this module. So here's the first problem. A company would like to know if efficiency can be improved through a training course for employees. So what they do, a sample of employees is taken and the time taken for an employee to complete a task before and after training is observed. So if we want them to be more efficient, okay, we want them to be more efficient. What's going on here is that um, we want them to take less time after the training. And you can see that in the Excel spreadsheet, right? So it says before the training and after the training. So here the mean before the training was 33 point, I assume in minutes, one minutes, and after it was 31.7 minutes. Okay, so you can look at the t distribution here and so if we want to see that they improve here so that they're taking less time it's going to be a left tailed test so that's going to tell us next that it's going to be a one tailed so it asks hey what is the p value well that is zero right here for the one tailed 0 0.051 what is the t so the t stat here look at you can see right above it's negative 2.282 What is the sample size? So where it says observations, that's the sample size, so it's 30. The degrees of freedom are n minus 1, so you can see that. Here it's 29. What is the point estimate before the training? x bar 1, so that's 33.1. And what is the point estimate for after the training? Well, that's x bar 2, that's 31.7 here. And let's check. And we got it. We got it. Looks like it's it's good here. All right, let's go on and see what the next problem is here. So this one says um, an online math tutoring service would like to claim that the average time spent taking a standardized test for students go through tutoring is less than the average time spent before going through tutoring. So um, what they're saying here is, look, when you take a test, um, if you go take tutoring, it's going to, the average time it's going to take you to complete that test is going to be less. That's what's going on here. So a simple random sample of uh, students take a pretest and then goes through tutoring and takes a post test. So it's paired because they're going to take the same test here. So results of the sample are shown below. Um, so you can kind of see what's going on. They wanted to see that it's less. Okay, so um, it's going to be a left tail test. They're kind of giving that away to you. All right, what are the population parameters here? It's the mean time spent for all test takers before and after tutoring. Uh, I said here, what type of, is this two sample hypothesis test a paired? Yep, it's paired. What is the significance level? Well, if you look here, you see where it says confidence level 99. So that means the significance level is alpha is equal to 0 0.01. What is the null? So the null is always gonna be a statement of equality and what is the alternative here? Well, remember I said it was going to be a left tail test here. All right, uh, should uh, H null be rejected or does H null, H0 fail to be rejected? Well, if you look here, here's the, the p-value. All right, it's 0 0.002, which is less than the level of significance. So we're gonna reject. So what conclusion can be drawn from the data? Well, it looks like sufficient evidence exists to support the claim that the mean time spent taking a test after tutoring is less than the mean time spent uh, taking a test before tutoring. And we got them. So all the um, challenge activities or most of the challenge activities in this section follow just like this. So hopefully after seeing this video, you're uh, well prepared for this.